Okay, good morning, everybody, uh, again. So, um, this is just uh, today, that's me. I'm going to talk about uh, how to uh, um, market your business effectively in a business for breakfast way. So, um, what you're going to see is I'm just talking about the marketing challenges of small businesses, four golden words, four things I always recommend. If you're a B2B member, how to be successful at B2B. So, what are the challenges for small, small businesses? First of all, can I just take a straw poll? Is everybody here in business? Yep. Yeah. So I'm addressing the right audience. So, <laughs> if you're a small business, and most of us are working for small businesses, or running our own small businesses, or new in business, these are some of the challenges you'll see. You no longer have a job, no longer the steady security of that monthly paycheck that you can be able to come to rely on. You've got no network, you don't know enough people to actually generate your business. You have no customers, literally no reputation. What differentiates you from the rest of the market? If you're an accountant, what makes you better than the other accountants here? What's going to be, make you the first name on people's uh, uh, lips if they're doing, or an IFA, or anything like that? And often, there's no plan or no focus, which we'll come back to later on. Four important words in any marketing system that you employ. It's hard work. I'm very sorry, but we're here in business. We're not, we're not hobbyists. We're here to do business. So it is hard work. It takes a lot of discipline. To constantly make sure you're hitting the right targets, getting the right referrals, getting your message out there. It takes perseverance. How many people have been in business more than one year in this room? So you've all got perseverance, you're all doing it. How many have done two years now? Three years? Okay, so you're all getting that perseverance going. And we're not, because we're not in a hobbyist, we are in business, we need a plan. So, how many people in this room have got a marketing plan? Four things I always recommend small businesses to, to engage themselves in. Ooh. Networking. Get to get there and uh, show your face, let people know you're alive. There's only one word difference, one letter difference between networking and not working. You could be the greatest thing since sliced bread, but if nobody knows you exist, I'm sorry, you're not going to get any business. You've got to build your reputation. What differentiates from the other IFAs that are out there? It's not just because he's a member of St. James Partnership. Because Les is doing a good job and people know Les and people appreciate what Les is doing. Social media. Today, fantastic opportunity for all businesses in this room who are small to really amplify their, their reputation, their reach, continue the conversation through social media. Turn up. If you're not here, you don't get a you don't get the referrals. And people say to me, oh, you know. I'm sorry. This is core part of any system that to think that if you don't turn up, you will not get the referrals. It's as simple as that. One to ones. This is a cornerstone of the B4 B system. I've heard a lot of 60 seconds this morning, and I do a lot of time during the, over the months. It's not always clear what people are looking for. Who really are their customers they want to reach? What is it about them that's different? So you've got to spend a bit of time understanding people's businesses and they can understand yours and really hone down the referrals that you're looking for and vice versa. If you want referrals, guess what? You've got to give some as well. This is a this is a balanced system. You can't just take from the room, you've got to put something back in. So you've got to be very clear that there's one-to-ones. Ask people what they really want. Don't just think about selling, think about what you can do to connect people up. Be different from the rest of the businesses around here. Start building those long-term relationships. Guests, think your guests will come in. Why is it important that guests come to a B2B meeting? It's not just about growing the group, it's about your personal reputation members. Who, who can you, you know, help to really uh, change their business by bringing them to a B2B meeting, solve a problem, and make a relationship with somebody else in the room, and really show that you are different and, and better? And it's a fantastic source of testimonials. You know, if you bring one of your customers along and they say, you know, oh, thank you for coming here, you're the best thing since sliced bread, that really helps to advance your business. So bring along your guests, bring on your customers, your suppliers, you can really help you know, promote your business for free in front of the other members of B2B. Focus. This is my number one tip 
or how to be successful at networking for a marketing? Who is it really that you want to, to meet today? So think about it in your 60 seconds. People often say they want to meet such and such a person. Be really specific. Name names. Name that person, such and such a company that you want to meet. Because otherwise, I can't refer you. And you can't be referred on. So really, really tell us who you want to meet. Who's going to make a difference to your business? And the final thing, energy and enthusiasm. Miserable people do not get referrals. <laughs> so if you turn up to B2B, please do so with a big smile and happy and tell us that you want to be there. Words like, I don't like getting up in the morning, if you're coming to a breakfast meeting. Funny enough, doesn't endear you to the rest of the population. I don't know if you're being funny, but you're not. You're really going to kill your thing. And we studied this over the last 10 years. This is really important, to come with energy and enthusiasm, really get involved in helping to run the groups and promote the business. So that's me, I'm finished. Les, I'll hand you back to you to the contribution section. Thank you very much, Stuart.